Hey everybody, welcome back to another live trading video. Today, something different. I'm trading the US indices and uh, we're gonna watch it start to finish. So if you're new to my channel and you've never seen me do a live trading video, what I like to do in this is I like to do videos where I have no hindsight in my favor. It's just real trading start to finish. And today I'm picking up a starting position on the S&P 500 on the long side. And I wanna break this down and show you guys a little why I'm taking the trade first. And then I'm gonna jump over to my brokerage and take the position in front of you guys. So. Um, um, here is the first thing I should say. I do like the price action that we've been seeing recently. We have been seeing some nice higher lows and higher highs on this market. You can see high, 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 right? And then lows being on the come up as well. So on today's retracement, I was deciding, okay, you know what? I think this is worth an attempt to go long. Now, if we zoom in just a little bit further here, we take a look at... Uh, the fib levels if i do this swing low to the swing high what you can see here is that recent top that put in uh, is now coming back uh, back into a level of consolidation where we recently saw a lot of rejection but then this big break to the upside so i'm looking for this bullishness to continue on the retracement back into consolidation i know there's a lot of jargon a lot of words but basically price shot up pulled back into support and now i'm looking to get long again um, so I'm looking for a buy in this area. I'm going to pick it up on the long side. And my thought process here is, again, uh, we've been having a lot of risk on assets coming up to the top of the edge finder. Now, if you're not familiar with the edge finder, it is the tool that I use to help me find and scan for trading setups. Um, so the US 30 is looking attractive. You've got UK 100 on the come up. You've got, um, you know, German 30. So we have several uh, stock markets, JP 225, several uh, indexes uh, or indices in across the world. Uh, looking attractive on the buy side. So I actually wanted to narrow in here Okay, so what we're doing now is we're taking a look at the S&P 500, which has a total score of plus five. And in this category, or in this in this breakdown, what we're seeing is all the different categories calculated to give us a overall bullish bias. And what we can see here is we get a score of plus five. The COT data is not super favorable, uh, but I believe that could be shifting. We do see recently a slight increase in the net long positions on the S&P, uh, and this number is actually looking healthier on things like the NASDAQ and the... And the uh, the, the Dow. Uh, but anyways, what we see is also seasonality to the upside. So during the month of November, we are expecting, at least historically speaking, the, uh, the S&P 500 to actually be bullish. So another factor that's going in favor of the bullish side. We also have trend to the upside, so strong momentum to the upside, which is pretty clear to see from our price action standpoint we just took a look at. And then we have economics that are overall giving us a, a plus four in all the different categories. So this is how I use the Edge Finder to help me find the trade setups that I'm looking for for it adds some confluence to the ideas that I have and now let's actually go place the trade so um, I don't trade the SPX 500 or US 30 or NAS 100 on a Forex broker because in the US we can't trade CFDs on regulated brokers but I can trade it if I want to on a US stock brokerage like the one that you see on the screen this is Weeble this is what I trade with uh, when I want to trade things like gold the Q's the S&P 500 but it's essentially uh, the SPX 500 it is is the same underlying assets. So um, with that said, let's place a trade. So price is coming down. I'm going to go ahead and build or, or buy a position. So what I want to do here is I want to go ahead and buy. I'm going to do a market order. And what I want to do is I know I happen to want to buy 40 shares, which is going to come out to a $15,000 purchase on at the S&P 500. Again, it's pulling back to a level I like, as you saw. Um, and so what I'm going to go ahead and do is make sure everything is okay. We've got uh, da, 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 market buy quantity 40. So let's go ahead and click that buy price and we are filled. So there we go. We're now into the trade. So there is my position. So I just picked it up on the long side. Uh, and now what we're going to do here is, is I'm basically going to hold this uh, and try and see if I can catch a little bit of a push to the upside. And we'll come back once things develop a little further. Okay, so there we go, number is out, and we have the S&P 500 flying. Look at that, I'm gonna get stopped out real quick on that one, USDJPY, not going my way. A Little bit of a tough one there, but my S&P 500 trade probably going very well. Wow, what a spike to the upside. Stock starting out very, very strong here. And uh, the gold market also rallying up to 1727. My goodness, Euro dollar also on the upside. Uh, S&P 500 up to 3830. Uh, be careful, you guys, on initial re reactions like this. 
uh, you know, it can spike back the other direction. Please drop in the chat if you guys don't mind. Uh, if you have the numbers, please feel free to drop them in the chat so everybody can see them. Uh, but it does seem like we had perhaps a miss on CPI numbers here. Uh, as the dollar comes down hard going into this, let's look at DXY. Yep, the dollar coming down pretty aggressively with the gold market rallying all the way from 1711 up to 1733 in a matter of split seconds there. 7.7. .7. All right, guys, and here's a little update on the S&P 500 trade. We took the trade a little while back and it has kind of been going sideways. But today on the CPI numbers, which were better than expected, we got a nice pop on the S&P 500, which is now putting us in a position floating around $300 of profit. I'm going to go ahead and close this because what I'm looking for here in these uh, S&P 500 trades recently is a little bit different than my usual strategy. I'm not looking to, to massively hold on to a position and, and let it run forever because of the context that we're in. And I'll show you that in just a second. Let me go ahead and uh, close this trade. So we're going to go ahead and close the position and sell. And there we are. We are all out for about a $300 profit. So uh, this was our entry and we stopped out. And I want to talk about this here for a second. Just go through why this actually was uh, a, a quick trade for me, why I'm in and why I'm out of the trade now. Okay, so we've switched over to the trading view view and uh, trading view view trading view uh, view and basically the S&P 500 has been in what is a longer term really, really sketchy downward trend. Now, what we traded here was what is very often referred to as a bear market rally. And the idea is the overall higher time frame, like the weekly chart, the daily chart looks incredibly weak. We've been putting in lower highs and this market is a, is a sketchy one to be a part of as a bull. So why did I go long? Well, on the shorter time frames, we had a little bit of a push that began about a week and a half ago. Like we started seeing some nice bottoms form and some higher lows, and this was a bit of a counter trend move. And I knew that even getting into the trade that on the higher time frames, I'm going to get out of the way. But in the shorter time frames, I took advantage of a small uh, opportunity. So this higher low series that we were seeing, I picked it up long, I got involved, my entry was not perfect. But on the pop today, I decided to go ahead and close out some of my profits, which ended up being uh, a nice little a nice little trade for me. Nothing crazy. Again, I still have some other trades open. This is where we share all of these trades. By the way, if you want access to this, this is the private Discord channel, which you can click the link down below in the description and see the trades being taken by myself, Frank, and the rest of our gang. So uh, with that said, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, if you want to see more live trading, if you want to see more no nonsense, real trading accounts, all that sort of good stuff, then make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up button. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. It looks like you made it to the end of one of my videos. Thank you so much for supporting my content. It really means the world to me. And down below in the description, I put together some of my best resources for aspiring traders who are looking to improve. I've got some free downloads that could help you, some broker recommendations. And if you'd like to join our Discord or get access to some of our trading software, all of that will be linked down below in the description. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.